Hello everyone. Today our topic is closing algorithms, basic and extended. A closing algorithm is named after the Greek mathematician Euclid, who described it 300 BC. It's an example for a step-by-step -step procedure for performing a calculation according to well-defined rules and is considered one of the oldest algorithms in use. The Claudian algorithm calculates the greatest common divisor of two natural numbers A and B. The greatest common divisor G is the largest natural number that divides both A and B without leaving a remainder. For example, the greatest common divisor of 12 and 6 equals to 6. The greatest common divisor of 24 and 16 equals to 8. And the greatest common divisor of 16 and 9 equals to 1. If the greatest common divisor between A and B equals to 1, then A and B are said to be co-prime numbers or relatively prime. This does not imply that A or B are themselves the prime numbers. For example, in this example, neither 16 nor 9 is a prime number. However, 16 and 9 are co-prime numbers. No natural number other than 1 divides both 16 and 9, since they have no prime factors in common. Greatest common divisor of two numbers is the largest number that divides both of them. A simple way to find the greatest common divisor is to factorize both numbers and multiply common factors. For example, to find the greatest common divisor between 60 and 36, we can factorize each of them. 60 equals 2, multiply 30 by 2, 15, then 3, multiply by 5. And we factorize 36, multiply by 2, multiply by 3, multiply by 3. The common factors are 2, multiply by 2, multiply by 3, which means that the greatest common divisor equals to 12. The greatest common divisor can be found in two ways, by using subtraction or division. In the subtraction method, if we subtract smaller number from larger, we reduce larger number. The greatest common divisor does not change. So if we keep subtracting repeatedly the larger of two, we end up with the greatest common divisor. The function for finding the greatest common divisor, according to the subtraction-based version, can be written as follows. Function greatest common divisor, a, b, while a is not equal to b. If a is greater than b, we subtract b from a, and store the result in A. Else we subtract A from B, and the result is stored in B. And finally, A is retained. In the division version, instead of subtracting, we divide a smaller number until a remainder zero is found. And the function can be written as follows. If A equals to zero, we retain B. This is the base condition. Else the chain, greatest common divisor, B modulus A, A. Next, extended decloding algorithm. The extended decloding algorithm finds the integer coefficients X and Y such that the greatest common divisor of A and B equals to A multiplied by X plus b multiplied by y, and this is a linear combination. For example, if a equals 35 and b 15, then the greatest common divisor 35, 15 equals to 5. The greatest common divisor can be written as 35 multiplied by 1 plus 15 multiplied by minus 2.
which means that x equals to 1 and y equals to minus 2. To find the coefficients x and y, we can follow the following steps. Consider that we have the numbers 42 and 24. 42 equals to 24 multiplied by 1 plus 18. Now 24 equals to 18 multiplied by 1 plus 6. Now 18 equals to 6 multiplied by 3 plus 0. We stop here and this is the greatest common divisor. So the greatest common divisor in this case equals to 6. In order to find the coefficients x and y, we can write 6 from here equals to 24 minus 18 or plus 18 multiplied by minus 1. Now 18 from here equals to 42 minus 24. Again, 24 plus 42 plus 24 multiplied by minus 1 and all this part also by minus 1 which is equal to 24 plus 42 multiplied by the external minus 1 plus 24 multiplied by 1 since minus 1 multiplied by minus 1 is 1 or 6 equals here 24 24 24 multiplied by 2 plus 41 multiplied by minus 1 which means that x equals to minus 1 and y equals 2. As another example, to find the greatest common divisor 5, 6, 7 and 60. 5, 6, 7 equals to 60 multiplied by 9 plus 36. Now 60 equals to 36 multiplied by 1 plus 24. 36 equals 24 multiplied by 1 plus 12. And finally, 24 equals 12 multiplied by 2 plus 0. This is the greatest common divisor. Now 12 can be written as x multiplied by 5, 7, 6 plus y multiplied by 60. To find x and y, we can rewrite 12 from this equation as follows. 36 minus 24, which is 36 plus 24 multiplied by minus 1. Next, we can substitute 24 from this equation. So we'll have 36 plus 60 minus 36 multiplied by minus 1, which is 36 plus 60 plus 36 multiplied by minus 1 and all by minus 1, which is 36 plus 60 multiplied by minus 1 plus 36 multiplied by 1. And this is 36 multiplied by 2 plus 60 multiplied by minus 1. 36 from this equation equals to 576 minus 60 multiplied by 9 all multiplied by 2 plus 60 multiplied by minus 1 which is 576 multiplied by 2 plus 60 multiplied by 9 multiplied by minus 2 
plus 60 multiplied by minus 1, which is 576 multiplied by 2 plus 60 multiplied by minus 19, which means that x equals 2 and y equals minus 19. The extended Euclidean algorithm of this results of greatest common divisor using the results calculated by recursive calls greatest common divisor B modulus A A let values of XY calculated by the recursive calls X1 and Y1 X and Y are updated using the following expressions x equals y1 minus floor of b divided by a multiplied by x1 and y equals to x1 the function for the extended decolodian algorithm can be written as follows greatest common divisor extended a b the base case v equals zero retain B zero one greatest common divisor X one Y one equals greatest common divisor extended B modulus A A now we have to update the values of X and Y x equals y1 minus b floor a and y equals x1 after that the function retain greatest common divisor x y i think it will be easy for you to write the complete program and to test the code for different values the extended Claudian algorithm is very useful when a and b are co-prime numbers. Since X is the modular multiplicative inverse of A mod B and Y is the modular multiplicative inverse of B mod A, the computation of modular multiplicative inverse is a basic step in generating the keys in the RSA public key encryption method. For today, that's all. Thank you.